What's up guys, it's Drew here. If you've ever meditated, then you might be aware of a strange phenomenon that can happen whenever you're deep in your meditation. What I'm talking about are visual hallucinations that your mind creates. In this video, we're gonna take a deep dive into meditative visuals to see what they're caused by, as well as how to harness it in case you're interested in seeing them yourself. All of this and more for the low price of hitting the like button and subscribing so you don't miss any of my future content. There are hundreds, if not thousands of types of meditation out there, each with their own unique benefits. In Buddhist literature, there are tons of writings about the hallucinations that you can experience during meditation. So rightfully, we'll be focusing on the Buddhist meditation technique. Usually, people who practice this technique will focus on one specific thing. That could be their breath, counting, something you hear externally, or anything else. The end goal of this meditation is generally to clear your mind of everything, so it's usually done in dark spaces or with a blindfold on. The study that we'll be focusing on today is a 2014 study that used 28 participants with an average of about 10 years of meditation prior to the study. Obviously, meditation has been studied before. However, this study was a first of its kind in that it specifically looked for meditative hallucinations. In order to get away from biasing the study, the researchers decided to not ask about meditative hallucinations in particular, but instead to ask about the experience as a whole and let the participants tell them whatever they felt like. About one third of the participants reported seeing lights that looked like cloves, jewels, or spots that varied in color. The researchers then took this and developed two different classifications for visuals. Class one is called discrete light forms, these are described as being very vivid and distinct, described as little stars or small radiant bursts, spots of light floating together in a wave like a group of birds migrating, or Christmas lights or flickering fireflies. Class two are pattern and diffuse lights. Patients describe these as being like ropes emerging from objects in space and causing the space behind it to shimmer a bit and move. When the eyes are open, things look brighter, pixelating and becoming vivid, seeing energy inside of objects and seeing rays of light through everything. Are these similar to any other forms of hallucination that are possibly more well studied? Well, I'm glad you asked because yes, yes it is. There are three other things that hallucinations are known to be caused by. The first is sensory deprivation. This is when someone removes all of the stimuli from all of their senses. The second type is perceptual isolation. This is when sensory input is not completely absent, but instead is monotonous, invariant, and unceasing, such as a clock ticking. Lastly, there's visual impairment, such as Charles Bonnet syndrome, which is common in elderly people who are losing or have completely lost their vision. So what's common among all these? Sensory loss is. Sensory loss causes hallucinations because decreased sensory input leads to spontaneous firing and hallucinations through homeostatic plasticity in the occipital cortex. The occipital cortex seen here is the part that allows you to see by processing visual information taken in by your eyes. Homeostatic plasticity is a set of feedback mechanisms that neuronal circuits use to maintain stable activity and firing rates close to a set point. Or, in simpler terms, it's your neurons trying to fire at the exact right time every time. When no sensory input is present, the homeostatic plasticity overcompensates and fires randomly and spontaneously, causing what we see as hallucinations. Knowing this, is meditation not just a form of purposeful sensory deprivation? Could sensory deprivation be the cause of meditative visuals? A deeper look into exactly what's going on in the brain during these different types of hallucinations should give us a clearer picture. Meditation in the traditional eyes closed format is strikingly similar to sensory deprivation, which is whenever you remove the stimuli from all of your senses. However, when in a more noisy environment, it is more akin to perceptual isolation because you're focusing on one specific stimuli. The study also found increases in alpha power previous to hallucinations, which is a hallmark of concentration. This 
conveniently fits the participants' reports that the hallucinations followed a period of intense concentration. This shows how the participants manipulated their attentional spotlight of concentrated attention, blocking out all or most senses, acting as either sensory deprivation or perceptual isolation. It was also found that these hallucinations could be an indicator of increased neuroplasticity, which is associated with improved learning, improved working memory, and other cognitive improvements. If you'd like to try this out yourself, then I recommend sitting down, closing your eyes, and counting your in-breaths and out-breaths, like this. One, two, three, four. And keep doing that over and over until your mind is emptied. As you do this, you'll get better and better at it, and you'll become more and more concentrated. It might take a little while, it's probably not something you're going to be able to do today, but if you practice it, then this is certainly something that you will be able to achieve too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Drop down in the comments if this is something that you've experienced or want to experience, and make sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss any videos in the future. Keep on thinking deep and living well. See you next time.